Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Generation Selects TTGS09 Takara Tomy Super Megatron. This is a figure that I pre-ordered way back in April, and after numerous delays and back orders, I finally got him in my hand. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, there's really not much to this outer package. You got TTGS09, Transformers Generation Selects, an authentic Takara Tomy product as sold in Japan, and really, that's it. Now, once you open this package up, or the outer box, you get an inner box with a sleeve. And right here, you've got some great line work of Super Megatron, Transformers Generation Selects, and it's, it's pretty cool. I really dig this. Of course, the back of the box, big Decepticon logo, and lots of Japanese writing. Now, of course, as I said, this is a sleeve. Slide this out. Now you have your Generation Selects cardboard packaging, big Decepticon logo right there. Open this up. And here we have Super Megatron in all his glory in vehicle mode. And uh, once I got this guy open, I ran into a problem. And I don't know if you guys can tell by looking. I didn't see it at first. But look right here on top of the vehicle. See the treads? He actually has two left treads. I really didn't notice that until I got the figure out and attempted to transform him because I couldn't figure out how come one of these would not lock in. This one here locks in, this one doesn't, and upon closer inspection, I realized it's two left treads, and it really jacks up the uh, transformation of the figure. So I'm getting ready to do a rant, and if you want to skip the rant, uh, just go to the timestamp I have in the description below. So, I waited since April to get this guy. I'm a huge Megatron fan, and I was really ticked when I found out he was screwed up. Let me get this guy out of the package so you can kind of give you a closer look at this before we get into the full review. So, if you take a look here, you can tell those are the same tread. One is just flipped upside down, and I noticed because this one here just will not peg in. It just flops down constantly, and that's when I realized that they gave me two of the same treads. Let me pop this off so I can show you guys a little better. But yeah, these are the exact same, and that sucks. I was pissed. So I get on Hasbro Pulse, and I immediately get on their chat, and I tell them what happened, and they're like, well, we're sorry that happened, but we need to direct you to Hasbro because they're the ones that will take care of these issues. So I send Hasbro an email. I get no reply. I take pictures of this and post it on my Facebook page and Instagram. A good buddy of mine and fellow YouTuber, Crimson Raptor, he saw my post and says, hey, here's Hasbro's number. Give them a call and they'll, they usually fix situations like this. So I called Hasbro, I explained everything, told them, you know, I ordered it from Hasbro Pulse, and unfortunately the figure was sold out. And she said, well, let me see what I can do. Uh, here's the email that you need to reply to, send those pictures out, 
and we'll get you taken care of. So I'm like, cool. She sent me the uh, email link. I typed yet another email, sent the pictures once again, and after three days, I, I hadn't heard anything. I got on, uh, got I called Hasbro again and said, hey, what's going on with my Megatron figure? And they're like, well, we're sorry, we don't have any more any more of those Megatrons in stock. We can send you something of equal value. And of course, I'm still I'm pissed. You know, I've been looking forward to this figure. I really wanted this guy, and it really miffed me that I get a busted one, especially when you pay $60 for a figure and they send you one, they can't even check the quality control, you know, the QC, check, check him out, make sure he's got the right pieces. So I'm like, okay, I'll I'll eat this and send me something of equal value. So about five days go by. I get a package from Hasbro and I'm like, okay, what did they send me of equal value for this Super Megatron? They sent me a $20 Generation Selects smokescreen to replace my $60 Generation Selects Super Megatron. Man, that, that went through me. It just, it ticked me off to no end, but... On the plus side, Crimson Raptor, after I told him what all happened, he says, man, I know you're a huge Megatron fan. I bought two of those Super Megatrons, and he sent me one of his extras. And yes, this one does, watch it fall out, this one does have a left and right tread. So Crimson Raptor, thank you so much. He's a fellow YouTuber. Please check him out. He does some great stuff. So I, I am eternally grateful for this. He said all he wants in return is he wants my jacked up Megatron. I guess he's going to do a custom with him or something. So I, I couldn't be happier that I have this guy. And thank you so much, Crimson. Now, as far as Hasbro is concerned, I just, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I appreciate the fact that they tried to send a replacement, but when you're going to send me something of equal value, a $20 figure for a $60 figure doesn't cut it. And I mean, check your product. I mean, what was it? Some guy there on the assembly line is just throwing on left treads and when his replacement comes in, he's like, what the hell's up with all these rights here? So I don't know. I don't know what to say other than Crimson Raptors. Thank you so much. I am so happy to have a complete and whole Super Megatron in my collection. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at him. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Super Megatron all open and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And unlike the other instructions we've been getting lately, these are all done in Japanese. And I can't really read that. Fortunately, the instructions come with lots and lots of pictures. It kind of unfolds into a big poster here. Nothing on the back. Everything's right here on the front. And fortunately, they are very well illustrated and easy to follow, but you really don't need them. Now, one of the things I noticed right off the bat is Megatron is in package like this. And honestly, I think he is mistransformed because see how he flops down like so? He's got these big treads up here on top, and he's got little treads here on the bottom. And honestly, I think this needs to be rotated around. It even shows in the instructions here the tank treads on top, but I'm going to transform it this way. You got to take the legs, move those down, roll spin here, get the wings out of the way, rotate at the waist, and then just collapse those legs right back just like they were before, but this time they are backwards and get them pegged together. I get everything lined up just right with those guys. See the little pegs were right there. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. Get them lined up just right. Squeeze them together. Fold the wings back down. And there we go. And I think that works 
a lot better. He lays flat now, and this little tread here lines up perfectly with the treads on the back. Now let me get him all straightened back out so you can get a better look at him in spaceship mode. Now, Megatron here is a heavy, heavy retool of Titan's Return Galvatron. You can tell that a lot here in the legs and the waist and on the arms, but we'll get into that more later on. And this Megatron is also featured in the Japanese manga. I am really not that familiar with this character. I just had to pick this up because it is a Megatron but this version of Megatron is in a manga, and I'm going to have to check it out because this guy has really impressed me after messing with him for the last few days. Now, the spaceship mode is really, really unique. Very, very Cybertronian. <laughs> Pretty weird looking. I love the cockpit up here. Great paint applications. Got a yellow cockpit. Got red up here in the missile pods. You got red here along the nose cone, which is actually a giant cannon. You got yellow here on the inside. Looks like a little bit of paint right there. Might have to get some goo gone to take that off. Paint applications there on the side with the black. I mean, he looks really, really good, except for the back of the jet. I wish it had a stabilizer fin or something on the back. That looks really, really plain. And right here, he's got a carryover from the Titan's Return figure, that was a hinge on Galvatron. Let me grab Galvatron real quick. That section right there that held this piece. There's a little hinge right there that carried over on Super Megatron that has no function whatsoever, but they could at least trim that down. This whole bottom section is reused. Now, that is pretty much it for the jet mode. Now, what's really cool is there are so many ports on this guy. He's got one, two, three on each wing. So he's got six ports here that you can add all kinds of weaponry. You can add extra guns, missiles, battle masters, whatever you want to really jack this guy up. He's got ports here on top. I mean, you can arm Megatron to the teeth. So now let's go ahead and get him transformed into tank mode. He is a triple changer. First thing you're going to do is take the wings, bring these up, collapse these down and rotate and the wing there is a slot right there that'll match into that tab press that in lock it in place do the same with the other wing fold down and around squeeze together so it looks like that now you're going to take these sections here and face backwards now you're going to bring the nose cone up and remove it so that pops right off Fold the canopy down flat like so. Now you're going to take the legs, separate these, or the back. I keep calling them the legs. I'm spoiling this for you. Bring these out, and there's a little port right here. Sorry, bumped the camera. Little port right there that's going to peg in. Man, peg into that little hole right there, that section. So get that pegged in there. Here on the other side, do the same thing. So now you have this look going on. Put him down. And that's pretty much all you're going to do for the tank's base mode. Now you have the turret, and this is really cool. Take the turret and split it apart like so. There's tabs right here that'll lock in the tips of the gun. Squeeze those together. And now you've got this section here. You're going to flip this up, and you have a triple barrel cannon hid on the inside and it is a pain to get out this locks in really really tight there we go so once you get that out you're going to rotate this around fold down put this in back together so now you have whoops i had rotated this earlier so let me bring this back out go ahead and leave that as is so you want it up like this. Now it's got a little peg right here that's gonna peg into this port on top of the tank. And there you go, there is Megatron in tank mode. Once again, a very, very weird looking vehicle, but it works. Kinda of got that reverse H tank look, or I guess he's more of a Y tank. You really tell the Galvatron legs right there. 
Take a look at this. Now, the tank mode, it's got the treads down here on the bottom. They, there's no wheels. You just kind of scoot him along. The turret can rotate and can go up and down. And the three guns can move around as well. And they go up and down slightly. Now, if you choose, you can take the turret off. Go ahead and transform it back into the fusion cannon. Like I said, you do not have to turn those around. Just fold them right back in. You have the fusion cannon here. You can place it on top of the tank as well and give it that look. And that's pretty much it for tank mode. It's not a great mode. It doesn't want to stay together, as you can see. But it's, it's pretty cool. It's something different. Now let's get into the main transformation, robot mode. We're going to go ahead and remove the turret. Go ahead and extend these legs. There's a double hinge here on the inside, unpeg them from the side and just bring the legs up and snap into place. Just like so, bring the feet down and take the tank treads, fold these up into the leg. Now this is where I noticed that I had two of the same treads because they wouldn't collapse in. This one here had the tab up top. So now we've got the legs completed. Take the tank treads here fold down, take the arms, there's a tab right there that you want to unhook, see the tab that goes right there, get those unhooked, flip the fists out, like so, fold the chest down and rotate it, and then flip out Megatron's head. Put the chest back, fold these sections down, you have the fusion cannon here, there's a peg right there on Megatron's bicep. Match it up to the hole right there. And now we have Megatron in robot mode. And this figure looks fantastic. It's different, but you can still tell that this is Megatron. Taking a closer look at the figure, I love the head sculpt. Head sculpt looks great. Awesome paint applications there on the eyes. Got some black right there on the base of the helmet. And I love how it's on a ball joint and has such great range of motion. I can look down to the side. I mean, I love it. Lots of articulation in that head. I think that's the most head articulation. There's a joke in the comments coming that I've seen on a figure for a long time. Great paint applications there on the chest. Lots of great molded details too. Now, once again, you can tell where the Galvatron pieces are. Let me bring in Titan's Return Galvatron. Taking a closer look at the figures, they share the same shoulders and the same biceps, but the biceps have been tweaked. Galvatron's had ports where Megatron does not. Megatron has his ports here on the side, and there's a peg on this side here where the fusion cannon went in. And the waists and the legs are exactly the same. And that's pretty much it for the similarities between the two. So still, lots of great molded details all over. Articulation, we've already went over the head. The arms can go up, and they are on nice, tight ratchets. They could do a complete 360, but he's got this backpack back here. There is a elbow bend, a double elbow bend, actually a elbow rotation, and no wrist swivel, but the wrists are on ratchets as well, so they can go in slightly. Hear that lovely click. Down here on the waist, there is a waist rotation. Legs can go in and out, up and down. There is a hip skirt you'll have to move around to do that. Legs can go forward, they can go back, but they're still going to hit that backpack right there. There is a great knee bend and very slight ankle tilt. So you can actually get some pretty decent poses out of this Megatron figure. One issue is I wish that the fusion cannon mounted on the forearm opposed to the bicep, but as big as this thing is, I don't think that is on there so tight. Man, I don't think it could mount really good on that forearm. I mean, that would really make that way too long. So still, really, really cool figure. 
Now, let's get him transformed into Super Megatron mode. What you're going to do is flip the chest down and rotate and put right back up. That gives him a whole new chest piece. Now, you're going to take these sections here, flip these up, and bring the wings out. So now he has rocket pods up on his shoulders. Now, this is really cool. You take the head and flip this section up. So you have the face is now separated from the helmet. And if you can get your fingernails in, just like so, up here on top, see how the headband can move? You can flip that around, put the head back. So now he has this red headband. Now, move him out of the way here, you're going to take the fusion cannon once again, split it in two, just like you were forming the tank turret, flip this section up, get the triple barrel weapon out. Once again, that is so hard to get out with my non-fingernail hands. And now you can actually just pull this right out like so. There is a section right here. You're going to flip this up like that bring the sides together. So you transform this exactly like you did for the tank, but now it is a shield. And so you're going to peg this right up here on his arm, like so. Take the triple barrel cannon, there's a little peg, fold that down, and that'll go right up here on top of his shoulder. The pegs and ports on this guy is so tight. So there we have Megatron as Super Megatron. He's got a big shield. He's got the triple barrel cannon right there on his shoulder that can rotate around. It can go up and down. Plus, he's got that new head. So a really neat looking look for Megatron. But that's not all. We can transform Megatron from Super Megatron to Ultra Megatron. And how I'm going to do that Go ahead and take the fusion cannon off, or the shield. Take this section off too. So now you've got the head, you're gonna flip this up once again. And now instead of spinning the head band, we're actually gonna spin the face. And this is so hard to do. It's just at a weird angle. You kind of catch Megatron by the nose there. And just rotate and drop the figure. This is so hard to do. This is the worst part of the figure is getting this face to rotate. You can actually cheat. This bottom section here pops right off. So you can actually get in there and rotate that a little better and then just pop this right back into place. And now Megatron has this armored battle mask, kind of like he had in... Uh, what was it? The last night. Maybe that's where they got inspired by this. So now you're going to take the wings, bring the wings down, and kind of angle them out, like so. Now you can bring them out like this, or I kind of angle mine down a little bit to kind of give him a cape look. I'm going to take the triple barrel cannon, Put it over here on his left shoulder this time, or actually, let's change it up. You can mix and match this figure as many ways as you want. So I'm going to put this triple barrel cannon on the left arm, transform this back into a fusion cannon. Got to flip this little section right here up. That way that'll slide in. Transform that back to the fusion cannon. Attach this on Megatron's arm. Once again, it is so tight to get on. And there you have Megatron as Ultra Megatron. He's got the triple barrel cannon on one arm. He's got the fusion cannon on the other arm. He's got the rocket pods. I love it. That looks so cool. Closer look at the face sculpt. Very, very different. Hard to pull off, but different. And it really changes the look of the figure and he also has so many ports in this mode as well you got the ports up here on the shoulders you can add battle masters 
other weaponry. He can put weaponry in his hands. You could add the weaponry down here on the wings. You could load this guy up, and I think that's awesome. Now, also, you can change around the headband, too. If you don't want the red dot, you can flip that around to the other. But I like the red dot. I think it looks awesome. So there you go, guys. There is Ultra Megatron. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Generation Selects to Karatomi Super Megatron with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 2 Combat Hero Megatron, War for Cybertron Megatron, and Netflix Siege Megatron. The Transformers Generation Selects to Karatomi Super Megatron is an absolute blast of a figure. I have had so much fun with this guy. I mean, I haven't put him down for almost three days. As you can see, the weapon combinations for this figure is just endless. Whatever your imagination can come up with, you can probably apply to this figure. Now, granted, his vehicle modes really aren't that much to write home about, especially the tank mode, but robot mode is where it is for this figure, and I couldn't be happier. It was a pain in the ass to finally get this guy, but I'm so happy it worked out. So there you go, guys. Transformers Generation Selects to Karatomi Super Megatron. So, does a Transformers Generation Selects to Karatomi Super Megatron belong in your collection? This is one for the Megatron fans, though maybe not all the Megatron fans because this is such a unique take on such a beloved character. I, for one, absolutely love this toy. I think it's fantastic the way you can change his looks with the rotating faces, the rotating chest piece, the transformable fusion cannon, the way you can position the wings. It is ingenious and adds so much playability to this figure, not to mention all the weaponry you can add, which is really, really cool. As I said earlier, I can't put this guy down. I keep coming up with new ways to display. Now, granted, his vehicle modes aren't the best, but this guy, it's all about the robot mode. So if you're interested and you see this guy on the shelf, or rather, he's an online exclusive, if you see him online, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. Just hopefully yours won't come with two treads. And that brings me to something else. It's Christmas. It's the season of giving. And as I said earlier, Hasbro was kind enough to send me this smokescreen figure as a replacement for my defunct Megatron. But I happen to already have a Generation Select smokescreen. So I think it's time for a raffle. If you would like to have the chance to win this Generation Select smokescreen, just comment below hashtag blow and smoke and i will do a drawing uh let's do it next week after christmas i'll do a drawing and i'll get this smoke screen out to you so it's a way for me to say thank you for all the support you've shown me over this year i appreciate it immensely you guys have helped this channel grow so much so hashtag blow and smoke and get yourself a generation select smoke screen now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And if you're in any position to help the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Guys, once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!